All right, let's do a quick recap on a component that makes all our gadgets work, the capacitor. Seriously, they're in everything you own. Look around, phones, cars, you name it, they're in there. So what is it? It's basically a tiny battery that charges and discharges like super fast. Okay, so there are tons of types, but we can group them into three main families. Let's check them out. All right, here are the big three, film, ceramic, and electrolytic. Each one has a very specific purpose. First up, film capacitors. Think of these as the high-performance, super-stable option for precision circuits. Then you've got ceramic caps. These guys pack a huge punch in a really small package. Super common. And for the heavy hitters, electrolytics. They give you the most energy storage for your buck. Perfect for power stuff. So how do you even know which one's good? Well, it's all about the specs. Let's decode them. First off, capacitance. It's simple, really. It's just how much of an electrical charge it can hold. Next, rated voltage. This one's a big deal. You push past this limit and poof, it's toast. Okay, but here's the thing. In the real world, these components aren't perfect. Their performance changes. One of those imperfections is ESR. It's this internal resistance that just wastes energy by creating heat. And get this, frequency matters too. As the frequency goes up, the capacitor's effectiveness can actually drop. So, with all these options, how on earth do you choose the right one for your project? Well, you start with the capacitance value you need. That's step one. It really helps narrow things down. Then, you gotta think about frequency. Ceramics are great for high-frequency stuff, but others, not so much. So, you can see it's all a trade-off, right? It's about balancing these pros and cons. They filter power, they time signals, they're truly the unsung heroes inside all your favorite tech.